Maybe you know this, but Paradise is not immune to team discord or any other kind of discord. I arrived at this beautiful resort where I was keynoting a conference and I walked in and oh, the air was so clean and there were fans moving there around. There was some, the sounds of birds in the background. There were palm trees and flowers and shiny marble floors. So it was very centering to me. And that clashed a bit when I walked up to check into my, um, my room. There was a small group of people that were gathered and they were listening to a young woman rant. She was just really ranting really loudly about her boss. He had told her what to do. That was her complaint. Now, I'm just seeing this, it's a little slice in life, but I, I love observing people and interactions. And I, I just noticed what had happened there is something that happens so often with conflict. And it's, called, it's an avoidance tactic, actually. And it's even more destructive than that because what it's called is triangulation. So a person has an issue with one person, but instead of dealing it with that person, they shift and they go talk to other people or another person. So now they have made this conflict, this disagreement bigger. And what I perceived is, and I'm all about developing people, but what I perceived is her behavior here really was her giving her power away. And it made me sad. Um, I also saw that it really, it really eroded the team unity because you got this group of people and they were really kind of not sure what to say or do. So that happens frequently in a lot of different places. That's a very common thing that happens in organizations and even in families. I have to catch myself as well in my family sometimes. But triangulation, really, really destructive. So what I would like to share in this video is there's really, there could have been three different things that if they happened, the scenario would have never played out this way. And it only would have been one of these things that would have shifted everything. And I'm all about spiral as a way of shifting towards positive outcome with grace. So and those have to do with the boss. They have to do with her and they have to do with her team, her team members. So now if you look, we've got three chapters here. So chapter one is the boss. You know, kudos to the boss. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I, I kind of made an assumption it was a man, but um, the boss gave her very specific um, outcomes that he wanted or she wanted. And, and that's a great thing because a lot of times, and if you, if you lead people, if you manage people, you'll know sometimes if you're not specific, you end up not getting what it is that you're after. So kudos to the boss for that. Now, where that could have gone a step further, two steps further, is one, for him to be sure that she knows what the final product is. What is it that they're really looking for? so that she really gets the big picture. And then ask her, this is what I see, what other things might you see that would make this even better? Um, so ask for her input. And that is the whole thing because when she was ranting, she said, he told me what to do. And again, if that, and that's a good thing to be specific, but to ask her, you know, share the vision, and ask her questions around what else would she see. That elevates her. It's a way of appreciating the fact that she's a valuable member of the team and that she does have something to contribute. She didn't feel that way and that caused the rant, the triangulation. Okay, so, okay, so chapter two, the young woman. I, as I said earlier, I felt like her behavior really caused her to give away her power. And that might sound cruel for me to say because, you know, perhaps she's just in a bad situation. But, you know, when I talk about conflict, and that is this, and, and I'll put some links to some other things here at the end of this video, 
But conflict is this, and one of the things I teach in Spiral Impact is when this happens to spiral. And one of those things would be to, to ask questions. She could have said, thank you, acknowledge and ask questions. She could have said, thank you for being so specific, so I know what you want. Um, are you open to um, me taking more photos? Are you, what, what about this? What, you know, she could ask some more questions. She could have asked if she didn't know, tell me about where these will be used so I can make sure that we get the right thing. So there's a collaboration type of thing that happens there. Now that takes some confidence, so that takes what I call center to be able to do that, but that's something she could have done that would, would have eliminated the triangulation because she would have been dealing with it right there with him then. Now, chapter three, the team members. So when you're becoming pulled into a triangulation, it can be pretty awkward. And so at, in that moment, any one of those team members could have said, well, what if you just go ahead and take some more photographs? Or what, what, what did you say when he did that? Or have you thought about this? So rather than just idly looking at her, you know, when you just sit there and listen, you're somehow validating what they're saying. And she was just making him out to be a bad guy. So those are things the team could do. Now, on a broader standpoint, and this is why so much of my work is around team development, which is really helping team members understand what conflict is and how they can take that conflict and make it innovative and creative and not destructive um, amongst themselves and so that they actually as a, as a team can be in power together is what I call that. And that way they have the skills in order to do that and then I also encourage them and guide them to create some agreements around how, you know, how do we want to work together? And so they've talked through all that stuff, so they have an agreement with that. And it's, a, it's pretty magical when that happens. But any one of those three chapters would have shifted everything, and you'd have an empowered younger person that would really like to stay as part of this team, which I think is really important and you would not be dissipating all that energy in a gorgeous resort. So if you'd like to learn more, my book, Spiral Impact's available anywhere books are available, or check out my website and these other videos as well. That's it for right now. Thank you so very much for tuning in, and I'd love your comments and your questions. So thank you, bye-bye.